show you the product up front before we get into the video because it may be something that you're just not wanting to do or it may be more work or more money than you want to deal with and you may just choose to buy you know maybe more of a commercial product but uh this is the item folded up and I'll have a couple videos segments following this to show you what it looks like when it's uh, expanded and sitting outdoors and then behind the videos will be more shots of me uh, actually building some of it or the parts that I had built and the materials that I used. Again, it was about $140 is what I spent uh, to get this particular one done. Again, here's the finished model uh, once I got the uh, reflective material on it. Um, I'll walk around it here real quick. Pardon my shadow. And again, you can see the uh, material in the back of it there. So again, this was probably about $140 uh, complete. And uh, I think I'll have a lot of fun with it. So if you decide to build one, let me know. Send me a picture. If you got any improvements, let me know. Thought maybe I'd give you one more view of it in a slightly different location. Uh, I'll walk around it. What I have purchased is four sheets of two by four foot Luan board. It's approximately, I don't know if you can see here on my iPhone video, the thickness of that stacked up for those. I have bought some uh, spray adhesive and a roll of mirrored uh, window film. And uh, so what I've done is I've drawn out, and again, I don't know if you can see this, um, on this particular piece of board, I've drawn out lines, which is approximately 20 inches across the bottom of the 24 inches. And uh, <clears throat> I have sketched out the, uh, the top um, of which here is a template of half the top, which I then uh, traced onto it. And then of course I flipped it over to get the other side. Um, and then I have drawn a what will eventually be a peephole in the center of this, um, which I just used a can and a ruler and whatnot to trace that out. And again, this is the mirrored material. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that, but this is the mirrored material that will eventually uh, be on the, uh, the surface. Uh, what you don't see yet here I have is a piece of camouflage fabric. Um, a few yards of that that I picked up at the local fabric supply store. It's just your cheapy um, leaf stick pattern, tree pattern, very cheap, but it will be applied to the back of this uh, just to give it something other than the wood surface. It's also going to serve to help reinforce the hinged area of this. Now, I'm not going to use any mechanical hinges such as regular metal hinges as you'd find in the door on the surface. I am going to use fabric, um, namely I have some old pair of jeans that I had that I'm going to cut strips and use as fabrics on the three different hinges that are on this um, simply because I don't want to have any, any bolts or any other uh, screw heads showing from the front uh, through the mirrored material. Alright, I'm back. Uh, as you can see, um, as from the first video, and I'll try to give you a little wider look at these since, again, this is on my iPhone and it doesn't really have a very wide uh, area to view from. But here are two of the four pieces which I have cut out. And you can see uh, the pattern on the top, which I've cut out. Um, again, going along the four-foot section, uh, 24 inches wide at the widest point on top, going down, tapered to approximately 20 inches across the bottom here. Um, to get the right slant uh, so when we assemble this. You can see that I've also cut the peephole on the top of each one and then the handle holes uh, so when it's folded there is a handle on this side. Um, I have sprayed these as you might notice in the middle with uh, spray adhesive 
and uh, you might be able to hear me better now that my heater just kicked off. Um, the other two pieces are here, and you can see that I've uh, taken the spray adhesive, I've taken an old pair of jeans and uh, glued that together, and uh, so that is going to be the hinge. And again, the whole entire back of this, all four pieces will eventually be covered by another piece of uh, camouflage-ish kind of fabric that I picked up at the local fabric store for pretty cheap. Um, so that, uh, you know, in addition to what I have, and then I spray tack the other piece across the entire back. Um, these are extremely durable. Um, this hinge is nowhere near ready to fall apart or anything like that. I think uh, it's going to be a pretty decent uh, hinge when it's all done, and I won't have to worry about any uh, screws or whatnot coming through the other side. Um, when this thing's set up with all four pieces, of course, you can see even the two pieces here are standing. Uh, but when all four pieces are on and the additional two pieces are on this side, um, we will be able to stand them up and we're able to be able to accordion fold it. Now, just so you know, when you're thinking about putting this together, we have the hand holes here. And uh, these two pieces on the back side of each piece of these will be the mirrored surface. So as this folds up, as an addition, if you can imagine, I had the other two here, as it folds up, the mirrored pieces will actually be on the inside so as it folds the mirrored pieces will be protected um, as you're carrying it by the handle here um, and uh, that way as you're going through brush or any in a field you won't have to worry about scratching up the mirrored surface and then of course it'll just be a matter of uh, spreading it out and setting it up and uh, so that's kind of it at this point I'm going to continue to uh, get the other two pieces glued together and once those are together I'll pick up on the video and show you all four pieces with the uh, the uh, makeshift hinges I got out of denim blue jean and then of course eventually you know these sides will have the mirrored uh, mylar on the front of it. Okay I'm back again here uh, I'm getting ready to glue up this last center uh, blue jean hinge that goes in the very center uh, of this particular uh, piece but I want to show you something and emphasize, just so you know, because uh, I can see where this could be a potential problem point. Uh, when you uh, make these cuts here and uh, lay them out, make sure you could, if you've got a table saw, that would be the best to do. If you don't have a table saw and you simply have a circular saw, make sure you get some type of metal straight edge that you can clamp down and make sure you cut these um, all perfectly straight. And of course, I had all four of these people, pieces stacked together, and I made one cut. But uh, it's, it's imperative uh, for this thing to fold correctly and to hinge correctly to make sure these center cuts are as straight and match as perfectly as possible. And uh, so we'll pick up from there. For them. Okay, one more part to the video here. Um, you can see that I've got all four pieces uh, expanded out. I have the uh, blue jean hinges on it, um, which I have uh, used some heavy duty spray tack. And again, in case you didn't see the first part of the video, um, I found this uh, Loctite spray adhesive at Home Depot. It was uh, fairly cheap and it says it's high performance, I guess up to 200 pounds, I don't know, but it seems to be working pretty well. Um, when I had them all together folded, um, you might notice that I went ahead and shot all the edges with black paint. Um, every open edge I shot with black paint and uh, you can see that the uh, help hide those joints so the next process will be to put the fabric on the back and then eventually put the mylar on the front and uh, if I had someone hold my camera I would fold this up for you uh, but since I don't um, I'll have to wait but essentially uh, if you've seen any of the uh, commercial products similar to this one it folds in the exact same manner very easily and then you have all your hand holes lined up and you can carry it okay we're back and I have rolled out my adhesive on the backs of the uh, the boards and this is a uh, some fabric that I bought down at uh, a local actually it was a super Walmart they had this fabric center in there and they had this camo pattern um, I paid approximately $30 for this uh, fabric that I've adhered to the back and then trimmed around um, adhering it again with spray adhesive, rolling it down, taking my time to trim real careful around the edges and whatnot. Um, 
the fabric and everything has brought this project now because I had to buy another couple cans of spray adhesive um, up to about $140. Now, if you wanted to get creative with some rattle cans of spray paint, you probably could spray paint the back of this and um, you know maybe save yourself 20 bucks or so. Um, I just like the fabric plus the fabric running across those joints again where I already had the fabric uh, hinges. Um, just helps to reinforce the whole back and again you can see that uh, you know I now just need to apply the foil to the front and um, we'll be almost ready to go um, other than maybe uh, attaching some tie downs once it's complete um, so once we get to that point um, I'll shoot we'll get back but at this point uh, we're complete I'm gonna let this dry a little bit for longer before I start handling it too much So here's a look at the final blind once I got the uh, reflective material on the front. Um, again, it's not a perfect model. Um, it's got a few wrinkles in it here and there, but I think from the distance, um, and you see walking around it in this environment, um, it's pretty well concealed. And uh, I think anything walking up on it, you know, may have a hard time figuring it out. Who knows? Again, here's the finished model. Uh, once I got the uh, reflective material on it, um, I'll walk around it here real quick. Pardon my shadow. And again, you can see the uh, material in the back of it there. So again, this was probably about $140 uh, complete. And... Uh, I think I'll have a lot of fun with it. So, if you decide to build one, let me know. Send me a picture. If you got any improvements? Let me know.